Have you ever wondered what lies beyond Earth, the solar system, and the galaxy? If you could move the mouse on Google Maps and see the universe on a larger scale, what scenery would appear before you? Fortunately, science has made great strides and expanded our field of vision. Thanks to this, we can now observe celestial bodies billions of light years away from Earth. Welcome to Futuristic Findings. My name is Robert. Enough with the introduction. Let's embark on a very distant and special journey to see the universe on a grand scale. The size of the universe. What is this horizon? If this were a question about Earth, there's nothing too difficult about it. It's the line where a boat disappears, and you can't see anything beyond it. But what if we wanted to look for a boundary in the universe, like the horizon? In that case, the problem becomes much more challenging. The entire observable universe around us is, in a way, a sphere, and we, the observers, are at its center. On the inner walls of this sphere are the galaxies, stars, and nebulae we can observe. However, the celestial bodies we see are not in their current form, but in their past form. Information about celestial bodies is transmitted by photons that travel very quickly, but it takes time for them to reach Earth. So when we see the sun, that image is actually from eight minutes ago. Therefore, one could say that our telescope is truly a time machine. In this way, there is a limit to what we can observe, which cannot be circumvented by advances in equipment performance or technology. Firstly, this is due to the physical nature of light. Even if a celestial body is farther away than the distance traveled by light since the Big Bang and emits a signal, we wouldn't be able to detect it very well. Folks, are we all following along so far? Now, here comes the fun part. The story of our universe began approximately 14 billion years ago. This means that we can only observe objects within 14 billion light years of Earth. At first glance, this seems to make sense. But in practice, it's not quite that simple. In fact, the universe is expanding at a very accelerated rate. For example, when the light from an object that is at a great distance from Earth reaches Earth, at that moment the object is much farther away. Therefore, the radius of the observable universe is approximately 46 billion light years. So, we can say that our universe is insanely vast. So, what's beyond the other side that we can never see? We don't know the answer to that question, and we probably never will. It could be that there are galaxies and stars we're already familiar with, or, equally likely, there could be rainbow-colored ponies running around everywhere. None of these theories can be proven or disproven. Of course, due to the uniformity of the observable universe, it's reasonable to assume that the first option is closer to the truth. But it's also a bit dreamy to think that there are ponies. Galactic Filaments and Voids What would we see if we traveled inside a bubble of the observable universe? Everything in this universe is gathered in groups. Planets orbit around stars, Stars come together to form star clusters, and other clusters form galaxies. If the universe were compared to a house, galaxies would be the bricks used to build the house. There's an unimaginable number of galaxies in the observable universe, around two trillion. It's not so easy to find solitary galaxies that don't belong anywhere. Galaxies come together to form larger structures called galaxy clusters. Inside a galaxy cluster, there are dozens or even thousands of galaxies and large amounts of thin interstellar gas. But that's not all. Galaxy clusters create even larger structures called superclusters of galaxies. The Milky Way itself, along with the local group of galaxies, is part of the Laniakea supercluster of galaxies, which means immense sky in Hawaiian. It couldn't be a more fitting name. But even Laniakea is not the largest of superclusters. Some superclusters have a filamentary shape, while others have more of a wall-like appearance. The size of their walls can only be described as tremendous. For example, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is 10 billion light years long, which is equivalent to 10% of the diameter of the observable universe. A system within another system. This hierarchy continues infinitely. Researchers have long wondered about this question. If we increase the scale of the universe, will we see one group become part of an even larger group? If so, 
That would be mind-boggling, and unfortunately, there is no structure larger than a galactic filament. Galactic filaments are string-like structures filled with superclusters of galaxies and hot gas, spanning hundreds of millions of light years in length. Between the filaments, there is a void space referred to as the void. If you suddenly find yourself in a dark space, with not even the slightest hint of light for dozens of megaparsecs around you. Just thinking about it gives me the creeps. What truly shapes our universe are these galactic filaments and voids. These structures resemble the pattern of a network, a spider's web, or the neurons in the brain. Isn't that truly beautiful? It's a bit awe-inspiring too because you feel like a grain of sand in the Sahara Desert. Dark matter and dark energy. You might be surprised, but... This isn't the end of the story. It's evident that the galactic filament is a gigantic structure, but of the matter that composes it, only 5% of the universe's matter is visible. The rest is the enigmatic dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter is unevenly distributed in the universe, but it's said to make up, on average, about five times more than normal matter. Dark matter lacks electromagnetic interactions. In other words, it doesn't reflect or absorb light, which is why it's dark. No one has ever seen dark matter, so how do we know it exists? In fact, dark matter has gravity. Just like metal shavings are attracted to a magnet, visible matter is attracted to dark matter. And just as there is a dark side to the force, the universe has dark energy. The universe is expanding at an accelerated rate. In other words, something must be pushing the universe. Dark energy fits perfectly into that role. However, we know very little about what it actually is. It is generally believed to be the cosmological constant and is likely an inherent property of the vacuum. Why does the universe look like this? Finally, it's time to answer this important question. The key lies in gravity. If there were no gravity, all the matter in the universe would have been distributed evenly and uniformly. But right after the Big Bang, when gravity started to operate, it brought particles together to create a stronger structure. Stars are formed, then galaxies are formed, and galaxies come together to form galaxy clusters. If gravity didn't exist, I wouldn't exist, you wouldn't exist, and the universe wouldn't exist as it does today. But everything has an end, including the universe. Now, uh, let's think about that. The end of our universe will depend on the properties of the unidentified dark energy, and we probably won't live long enough to witness this end. Unfortunately, none of these scenarios have a positive outcome for us. If there's any salvation, it might be the theory that our universe is part of the multiverse. The idea that there are an infinite number of parallel universes identical to the one we live in. Yes, you might be surprised to know that it's not just fortune tellers and shamans discussing these things. Scholars do too. Even if our universe is destroyed, many parallel universes will continue to exist. Of course, we can't travel to other universes, but I think it's more comforting to think this way than to believe that everything will end in nothingness. In any case, none of this will happen anytime soon. Plus, we still have plenty of time to live, love, and learn about this wonderful universe we're fortunate to be born into. The only thing that has no end is my gratitude for you, who watched this video until the end. That's all for today. Take care, and see you soon.